This frightening statistics provided by the Zamfara state government on the carnage of bandits in just four months of 2019 raises the question on what more the federal government needs to do to put an end to the security challenges in the country. The operation is holistic. We want to make sure that no uh, stone is left unturned and all these criminals are dealt with squarely. So our areas of operation basically covers the entire northwest, but our efforts presently are concentrated on all the forests around uh, Zamfara State and the surrounding uh, states. Surprisingly, it appears that the moves of the security agencies are not yielding the desired results. Or how else can it be said when bandits just after having their hideouts destroyed by the Air Force, regroup, ransack villages, leaving death and destruction in their wake. Another thing of note is how elements of violence seem to take turns in creating diversions, using different names, but applying the same venom. So what does the federal government need to do? Is power for power the way to go? Some have suggested that exploring the strategy of reviving the economy and making jobs available might just make a difference. Those children we do not train and we do not equip, we rise to fight. Almagris will rise to fight. Area boys will rise to fight. And once the Almagris in the north and the area boys in the south join hands together, we are not all safe. It's in our enlightened interest. I don't want to use self alone, corporate interest to ensure that there's a future for our young people and for the children. For any nation to live peacefully, there must first be a desire to address all the issues that lead to strife. That perhaps might just be what Nigeria needs. Aurelu Ashunibare, Channels Television News.